Today we are going to learn how to create a sketch effect in Photoshop with just one click. So let's get started. Open the image in Photoshop. We are actually creating a Photoshop action of sketch effect. Go to Windows Actions. Create a new set. Name it sketch effect. Click OK. Create a new action. Name it sketch effect as well. Now start the recording. Our each step will be recorded inside this section. And later we can apply the sketch effect on any image. Create a duplicate copy of the background. We need a black and white image. So add the adjustment layer of hue saturation and make the saturation value minus 100. Select background copy layer and press Ctrl I to inverse the colors. Set the blend mode to color dodge. It will make the image white. Select the layer and convert it into a smart object. Now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We are actually creating a stroke for this image. Set the radius according to the image until you get a prominent stroke out of it. Set the value 10, click OK. Now the stroke is looking too dull. Let's set the adjustment layer of curves to make it more prominent, more darker. Create a point and just bend it down until you get good results. Now this is looking better. Add another adjustment layer of brightness contrast. Decrease the value of brightness and increase the contrast. Now press Ctrl Shift Alt A to create a merge copy of all the layers combined. Convert it into a smart object. Now I want to add a little more detail to the sketch. Go to filter, open filter gallery, apply the poster edges filter, set the edge intensity to 1 and edge thickness as well 1. Click OK. Now I need to apply this effect on all the layers below. So set the blending mode to multiply. It combines the effect but it's too harsh. So set the opacity to 50%. Now again press Ctrl Shift Alt E to create a merge copy of all layers. Go to select color range, pick the white color. Adjust the fuzziness level to increase or decrease the intensity of the selection. Click OK. Now the white portion is selected but I want to select the black portion. Choose the rectangular marker tool, right click on the selection, select inverse. It will select all the black color in the layer. Now create an adjustment layer of solid color. Pick any color you want. I am choosing blue for now. Click OK. Add another adjustment layer of solid color. Make it white. This will work as a background of the sketch. Create another adjustment layer of gradient. Select black and white. Style will be radial. Tick the reverse to inverse the color. We want the whites in the middle. And increase the scaling. Click OK. Set the blending mode to multiply. It will work as a highlight for our sketch effect. Now the effect background is looking too plain. So we are going to add another layer. Fill it with white and add some noise to it. Go to filter. Noise. Add noise. Set the value 10. Click OK. Set the blend mode to multiply. You can see the difference now. It gives a paper texture feel. Now the sketch color is also customizable as well as the background. I forget to rename the layers so rename all the layers and group them in a structured way so that anyone can understand your file well. Now stop the action. Open the action palette. Stop recording. To test this action whether it's working fine or not, delete these two groups. Now we have just our background layer which is locked. Just play the sketch effect action on it. Now the action is creating the sketch effect for me. That's why recently I created a lot of Photoshop action tutorials. If you haven't checked them out, do check them and hit the subscribe button if you learn something new in this tutorial or you want to learn something new again. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.